we wrote this musical sort of eight years ago and it opened at the old Vic and and yeah, I guess people were worried that we were going to sort of damage a, a beautiful thing. But I, I, and I kind of agree with them. There's lots of people trying to make musicals out of famous films, and I, I don't think that's generally and, a and good the idea. Great British Bake Off. And yeah. Oh well, that, that's Pippa though. She's a genius. But um, I, I think it's often not a great idea. Except that Groundhog Day, as you know, has these deep, deep foundational ideas underneath it. It's really a musical about how you're meant to go through life and yep. be a good person and even things like how do you get out of depression and how, how do you be kind and how do you be present and um, appreciate the life you've got and all these big themes. So we always thought it was a good idea. It came out and got you know amazing reviews and won Best Musical at the Olivier's and stuff and then we got to went to Broadway and sort of it was the year after we kind of were committed to Broadway and then we realized it was the year after Hamilton had come out and there was all this sort of backlog of shows had been waiting for Hamilton to sort of um sort of go go by the wayside so anyway it was a ridiculous year on Broadway and we didn't survive because it's a very it's a shark tank over there and then we just thought we'll bring it back to London and then I mean just it's just one of those things and and you mentioned earlier in your intro of me that I've had things that hit like Matilda and things that you know sort of don't hit so hard but people love like upright like the piano show and then and then things like this which is this jewel of a thing that just has hit uh, hurdle after hurdle after hurdle including our beautiful friend our producer Andre Tajinsky who put it together dying very suddenly a few years ago and then COVID and so seven years later it's finally coming back to London and as you can hear from my voice I'm absolutely pumped you can about tell it. it's funny yeah. there's a different flow to an interview when people you know love what they're talking about um, often they love what they're talking about but they're also quite disturbed by what they're talking about yeah, it's not the yeah. case with you oh, no. and this you know it gives as much as, it, as you gave it in the first First place it gives back as much if not more so the film is 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 you know it's a feature length film it's perfectly formed yeah and um, of course you don't you can't double what your 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 creation in length no. by adding songs so you have to take bits of that out do you simply parachute the songs in saying the same thing you know supplanting the, the bit that you I mean I could deleted? just be so long and boring about this subject that kind of I always think the art of making a musical and and I'm someone who finds musicals difficult a lot of the time. It is a really difficult genre to get right and quite often when it's not got right it's a difficult thing to watch people suddenly breaking into song and and I'm obsessed by the flow from dialogue into song and, and Groundhog Day, whatever else it's not, our musical is a, a very unusual example of the integration of dialogue and song. So it comes in and out of sung bits. And the way it really works is the songs are the soliloquies. They're, you, you see the action and then you get to hear a bit more about what the character's thinking. Right. And so, no, you can't just add a bunch of songs and double the length of the thing. Instead, it becomes a slightly more conceptual. It's still really funny. I think the the stage musical is very very funny in a different way. You can't do Bill Murray, right? It's it's not trying to be the movie. It's trying to take those ideas and make something else. It's really funny. It really makes people cry. It gets darker than the film. We're very proud of it, and it does. It's sort of obviously ironic that it's it's really a musical, a story about if you had your chance to do it again, what would you improve? Know, and would you just exploit everyone? Would you be a god in your own life? Or would you eventually, as, as Phil does, realise that the only way to happiness is through kindness to others and all that? And, and it, it just feels like a musical for our time and a little bit about trap, so it's got a little shimmer of post-lockdown philosophy in it. Um, but also it's weird for us because we're getting to have another chance to do it again in London and we're just making little tweaks and it's going to be even better than it was seven years ago.